What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about the proper signage. Alright, we're going to go in depth on what businesses are supposed to have up here in South Carolina to show that you're not allowed to go in there and carry your gun. What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about the proper signage that a business is supposed to have up to not allow you to go in there and carry. All right, but even with this proper signage, okay, you can go in and ask for permission. You can't go in there with your gun on, but you can go in there and ask for permission and if they give you permission, then go back out and get your gun. Okay? But these are the proper signs that businesses are supposed to have up. We're gonna discuss them in depth. Okay, the other thing here, whether they have a sign up or whether they have the wrong sign or no sign, they have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. So wrong sign or no sign, they have that right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. Everything has to match to the T. Everything has to match. So the sign must be posted at every entrance and exit, whether you use it as the consumer or not. So emergency exits, employee exits and entrances, every door on that building, whether you use it or not, must have a sign on it or next to it. So that includes bay doors for deliveries. That's why I say own it or next to it. If I have a sign on that bay door and that bay door is open all throughout business hours, is that clearly visible from the outside of the building? No, it's not. That's why I say it has to be on it or next to it because it's got to be clearly visible from the outside of the building. Then it has to be on 8 by 12. The reason I say on 8 by 12 is the material they don't really specify that. So paper, construction paper, all right? These little flimsy, like aluminum signs that you can get for no trespassing, okay? Or whatever material, as long as you can measure it eight by 12. Stickers are not valid. We're gonna go here shortly and go over some examples and you'll see why I say stickers are not valid. Now, if it is a sticker that's stuck on that door and it matches everything else and I can measure that sticker eight by 12, that is a valid sticker. What I'm talking about is if these pieces are peeled off individually and stuck up there and I have no way to measure eight by 12. Then I have to have one inch black letters. There's no give or take, one inch black letters, no concealable weapons allowed. Now, with that being said, this verbiage covers that business whether you can still carry or open carry all right they did not change this verbiage when they started the new open carry law all right and i don't feel it would have been right because these signs have to be professionally made or you have to get them from sled okay so one inch black letters no concealable weapons allowed then i have to have a seven inch circle that circle can be red or black with a black silhouette of a handgun inside the circle with a diagonal line that runs from lower left to upper right, 45 degrees from horizontal. Then that sign must be placed between 40 and 60 inches from the bottom of the entrance. Everything has to match. So what I mean is, is if they spent their hard earned money and somebody didn't properly check this and they leave this S off, that voids all the signs. If there's one door missing, so if the building has 100 doors and there's only 99 signs, that voids all the other signs. It's got to match this to the T. T's crossed, I's dotted, colors, all that stuff. If it's off by a color, a letter, a number, a millimeter, it voids those signs. It's got to be this to the T. But I will be honest, if it looks remotely close to this, I'm gonna play it safe, I'm gonna go put it back in my vehicle. Now, if you wanna carry a tape measure and protractor around and measure all this stuff out, 
whatever floats your boat. I'm playing it safe and putting it back in my vehicle. So I'm gonna leave this here for a second so you can see everything this has to be. It has to be this to the T. So if you're a business out there watching this, here you go. If you have questions and want help with it, please feel free to reach out to me. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and try to talk you out of it or anything like that. That's your prerogative, that's your business. If that's what you wanna do, I will be glad to help you. All right, but it's got to match all of this to the T. T's crossed, I's dotted, I cannot stress that enough. It has to match this to the T. Your outside events will be bigger. 36 by 48, three inch black letters, no concealable weapons allowed. The circle will now be 34 inches in diameter. Okay, still black silhouette of a handgun inside the circle, line from lower left to upper right, 45 degrees from horizontal. The lines on that circle and that slash can only be two inches wide. Then it's gotta be between 40 and 96 inches off the ground. Same thing, everything has to match. If it's off by one entrance, one inch, one color, one millimeter, it voids all the other signs. It has to be this to the T, just like the buildings. All right, so make sure you look for this stuff when you're walking to an outside event. So let's run through and look, look at some examples. This, of course, is not a valid sign. The verbiage is wrong. The verbiage is the wrong color. The slash is the wrong way. The gun is outside the circle. It's gotta be inside the circle, meaning it can't touch on this line or go past it. Now, if the line is touching the gun, that's considered inside. But if it goes onto this line or past it, it is outside that circle. This is not a valid sign. But again, this business would have the right to ask you to leave and go put it in your vehicle. This is the sticker that I was talking about. You see each individual piece is peeled off and stuck on here. Do I have a way to measure if this is eight by 12? I have no way to measure that. This is not a valid sign, but again, they have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. I'm gonna let y'all kind of ponder on this one for a second, see what you think. Now, of course, this is not a valid sign. The reason I wanted to let you ponder on that, South Carolina DMV, so it's a publicly owned building. We're not allowed to carry in those without permission, so they don't even have to have a sign up. All right, and I talk about that in a separate video where we discuss where you can get permission to carry inside certain buildings. So this is one of them. So one question I talked about in that video that we're gonna talk about here, the first question you need to ask yourself when you're walking up to a building, does someone's tax money fund this building? If it's a yes, put it back in your vehicle, go in and ask for permission. All right, so remember, if it's a publicly owned building or one of those in those videos that I talked about, technically they don't have to have a sign up because you have to have permission before you go in there. What you think? I'll be honest, it looks remotely close to what I went over, doesn't it? Your standard door handle is three and a half feet off the ground. 40 to 60 inches is what, three to five feet? So it's right next to the door. All right, now if it was like way over here somewhere, that's not, it's gotta be fairly close to the door, okay? So I would technically go in there and ask for permission. Well, let me rephrase that. First, I would go put my gun back in the vehicle. Then I'll go in here and ask for permission. If they don't want to give it to you, it's up to you. If you want to leave, leave. All right. So here's the second question. First question, does someone's tax money fund the building? Second question, is the sign eight by 12? Most of your business will make mistakes on the size and the doors. Okay, so that's gonna be your third question. Is it on every door? That's if you've got the time to walk or drive around the building. Because what I did with this business, they'd never had this sign up. I took a picture, I was like, great, I can use this. 
But I did, when I left the place that I was going to that was next to this, I drove around behind the building. Guess what? They don't have that there on their employee door. So if this is the correct size and everything, it's voided by them not having it on their employee door. Every door. All right, we see we have an outside event going on. So assuming it's right, 36 by 48, three inch black letters. I know we can't really tell how far off the ground it is, but it looks remote and close to what I went over. I'm gonna leave it in my vehicle. Now, if you can find somebody in charge, you're more than welcome to ask for permission. But don't try to sneak it in there, because I'll be honest, even if they fake this sign, it's probably gonna be up here at the gate waiting on you. Cops are security with metal wands checking you. And a lot of these places, I know a lot of the places around here have all gone to clear bag policy, so you're not going to be able to sneak it in. Play it safe, put it back in your vehicle, okay? That's what you want to look for. So I'm going to back back up real quick. See how the muzzle of the gun is pointing toward me? The muzzle of the gun's pointing away from me. Left or right doesn't matter, okay? The muzzle just can't face up or down. It can face left or right as long as it's inside the circle. Okay, and it's here in Spanish, so you can get an idea if you're about to go into um, some type of maybe a uh, Spanish-only store or anything like that, or they just have it up in Spanish here is what that looks like. But that's what you're looking for right there. Again, it's got to be 8 by 12. 8 by 12. It's got to match, though. It's got to match everything I just went over in a previous slide. Everything to the T. It's got to match. So... If a business is not properly posted, can I carry into it? Yes, you can, but they have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. A business might not be properly posted, but you can still, or a business may, be properly po may not be properly posted, but some stores will have you leave it in designated areas or, but my, my recommendation, go put it back in your vehicle or just leave, totally up to you. Even if it's properly posted, you can go in and ask for permission. There's those three questions we talked about. Does someone's tax money fund this building? Is the material 8 by 12? Is the sign at every door? Those are the three spots where I see the most mistakes that will help ensure you're going into the right place or you need to go in and ask for permission or you just need to leave it in your vehicle. All right, I hope this has helped everybody. I uh, wanted to get this update out here so everybody's got a reference point with some of these examples. And, you know, if you've watched it, thank you very much for watching the video. Please make sure uh, you subscribe, uh, like, comment on the video. If you've got questions about this stuff, about the signs, always feel free to reach out to me. All right, I want to take a second to thank our sponsors. Uh, Core Essential, if you need a great belt, that's the place to go. They've even started doing battle belts. Use code SCGS10. So just our South Carolina Gun School abbreviated 10, SCGS10. All right. Get right personal training, Lau welding and grading, Sutter Law Firm. I want to really, really thank y'all very much for all the support that you give. And also, No Other Choice is one of our affiliates. If you need any type of gear, magazines, optics, lights, whatever you might need, go check them out. SCGS5 when you go to place your order. And I cannot thank everybody else, fans, subscribers, followers, all the support that you continue to give. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. We're going to have more great videos coming out, so please continue to watch. Share with your friends. Uh, let them know about it as well, too. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.